it's, uh, I guess the word would be shocking. Now at six, a truck driver facing DUI charges tonight in a horrific chain reaction crash that killed a Bay Bridge toll taker. Nearly 13 hours later, traffic is still at a standstill. And good evening. I'm Juliet Goodrich. I'm Brian Hackney. The view from Chopper 5 gives you a sense of the impact. The toll booth has been obliterated. The Caltrans worker who was inside never had a chance. Tonight, it is still an active investigation scene. KPX 5's Jackie Ward is at the toll plaza with the latest on the situation there. Jackie? Brian, traffic is still a mess primarily because six tolls are still closed here at this hour. And you can see behind me that Caltrans workers are still here trying to clean everything up. The extent of the damage was caused by just a single truck and is the reason one woman is dead tonight. The amount of damage is involved it's spread across several different lanes and how badly damaged the, the other vehicles are and the truck. It's uh, I guess the word would be shocking. Just after 5 this morning, CHP says a truck heading westbound on I-80 swerved across multiple lanes, hitting five cars as it approached the toll plaza. The truck then slammed into toll booth number 14, forcing its trailer to split in half and pushing the toll booth several feet westbound. Inside the toll booth, uh, there was a toll collector and uh, that party was, uh, was killed. The toll collector was 46-year-old Caltrans employee CeCe Hahn. She leaves behind her husband and a 10 year old daughter. Cece had been with Caltrans since March 2007. 32 year old Daniel Burke was the truck driver. CHP says he was arrested for suspicion of driving under the influence and manslaughter. He remains in the hospital with serious injuries. We're very sorry that you know the one person to pass. That's, that is correct. Um, if you look at the scene though, if you see how badly damaged the other vehicles are, um, you're right. It's very fortunate that the other parties did not suffer more serious injuries. Caltrans investigators and engineers have been on scene for hours now. They're checking the toll booth plaza for any structural damage. So far, they haven't found any issues. So that's the good news. Back to you. Jackie, we've got two questions. Do they have surveillance video of the accident? And do you know how much longer the lanes are expected to be closed out there? Right now, so CHP originally said that they didn't expect the lanes to be open until about 10 o'clock tonight, so we were talking about four more hours, but fortunately they've moved that up a little bit, so they're hoping that they can get these six lanes back open in about an hour or so. And do you know if they have surveillance video of the accident? Uh, that is one of the things that the investigators are looking into. We haven't heard any details about what they've found. It's still a little bit early on in the investigation. Got it. All right. Thanks, Jackie. The Caltrans director said in a statement, we express our deepest condolences for this tragic event that resulted in the loss of life of our Caltrans employee, Ms. Cece Han. The tragic incident hurts us all very deeply. Our thoughts and prayers are with Ms. Hahn's family. Today, Governor Brown ordered flags at the state capitol to be flown at half staff in honor of Hahn. He also issued a statement about her death saying, quote, Anne and I are deeply saddened to learn of the loss of Caltrans toll collector Cece Hahn, who died today while serving the traveling public. On behalf of all Californians, we extend our condolences to her family, coworkers, and friends. And tonight, we're also working to find out more about the man behind the wheel of that box truck. As Jackie mentioned, he's identified as 32-year-old Daniel Burke. He's from Foster City, and at this point, it's unclear if it was alcohol or drugs that he's suspected of using before the deadly crash. We've learned Burke rented the truck from a Monarch Rental Center in the South Bay and appeared to be hauling some sort of audio equipment. We reached out to Monarch for more information, but so far, we have not heard back.